Looking pretty assertive here towards that connected position. And the three man grenade stack. Oh, look at that. Poetry in motion. <laughs> it is. It really is. And Flusher didn't see that one EE -E coming. Ooh, oh, nice. my goodness. Side here to be able to uh, clear wow. out all the pesky tees, not get bottlenecked in that multi fragged And that's great, Alex. You can return to your position now. Can so... you crawl along the floor and you come back, though? There we go. Yeah, Thank we don't you. want we don't <laughs> want to ruin the shot. <laughs> Mate, get up there. The producer oh, could like be talking, you better. never know. But, uh, yeah. Nice Crocs as well, by the way. Neon, <laughs> crawling on the floor. You haven't seen that in years. He hasn't said anything about my lilac number today I either. I couldn't defend myself at all. I was completely headsetless. I did what you asked, and now I've got my Crocs on the internet forever. <laughs> well, you Nades needed, and they continue their walk. Diggle, wow, Golden, he's under a lot of pressure here. I wonder if Astralis are going to be tempted in. They are, and the spray is so good. Damage everywhere. Device, Magis, Shaken. Oh, they're going in again. Astralis are playing like Fnatic. They're trying to find these gaps. They're trying to exploit the timings. Yeah, and Golden's trying to fake him out with the smoke. I think it might work. I think it might. No, spotted and will go down. Zipex, he's done enough to level the playing field. But guys, have you seen the bomb? Oh, oh the no. Team, they've done, the they've done it. I can't believe it's Astralis. It's a virtual blunder. They've it's a classic one. the matchmaking blunder 101. Not the T-spawn bomb, Not boys. Astralis. Not you were the Astralis. chosen ones. This is the, the one... Cardinal sin of Counter Strike. We've it's happened a few times in our games, yeah. which I expect. Yeah. I don't expect Astralis to be doing. Oh. Well, they, they have no idea. They've got the bomb. It's just like, oh, I don't have time to check now. There's no the run smoke even for CT spawn, so he has to go elsewhere. Yeah. So he's gonna uh, run out. This is pretty buggered now. So 25 seconds remaining. 16 HP. 16 mm. HP. Flush at least gets one from this position. How do you even get that kill from up up? They spotted one, and well, he's gonna go for knives here, isn't he? I love it. I love it. <laughs> this oh. is Counter Strike. <laughs> this is what it's all. Is so, Magus just got melted over towards that Ooh. B site. Spam, Molotovs, everything to deal with. Look oh, how frustrated happy. he is. <laughs> he hates it. I haven't seen that for some time. Wow. That's a really good indication. That's like, like we, we can't screaming see, internally. Yeah, we can't see the players, right? We don't normally, you know, Henry, you comment on like a facial expression sure. or a, a slam desk. We yeah. don't get that. We don't get that read. Uh, we don't have that opportunity. But to see it in the server is a quite the uh, quite the rarity. Mac10 leads the charge. Sure, it goes down, but at the very least, it did create some space. Apparently, not enough, considering complexity still winning out the ma majority of those aim duels. Apex still left alone. Has been spotted. Knows there's one player on the bomb site. Unsure of obviously where Poison's coming from. Normally, over towards that B side of the map. What? How is he alive? What? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That sums up this game for complexity. Yeah, first actually uh, t giving the orb, or taking the orb rather from KNG after getting tagged. Dupree's had enough. No, 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 no. Oh, no. it's happening, isn't it? No, oh. no, JW's not waiting around. He'll just take the shot instead. Probably going to be equally as mad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to get under my skin a little bit Keep as well. Keep it on JW, I like this. Any more bullets? <laughs> Need a fresh mag for that, hang on. There we go. Give him another, one more. There it is, thank you. <laughs> Gets his friend involved. <laughs> 5-2 score, JW does it again, a double kill to pick up a fifth round on our third map. Series one, there's a lot more counters. We were talking about lazy clears before in the uh, Inferno game coming out of a strut. What is this? No, what is this? What is this? Well. What? Bloody Nora. He's got such an affinity for that. Very loud on his rotation, they should hear this, but he gets ahead of time. Oh, the miss spray, Allegiant one. The trade is imminent, and Nap has to do it all on his own. A player inside of the site, been spotted. Nap has a chance, and he's got two more to find. Oh man, the time was an issue, now it's no factor. We're gonna see the plant. Nap, can he do it? Can he secure an eight? He's gonna be holding, finds the first one on the fur, and now he's gonna try to buy himself some time. Let that bomb tick down a little bit. KNG on the AWP. Ooh. Nap likely knows this. A lot of noise being made, nice. and there you have it. The Sloth strikes again, an eighth round on the board for Liquid. Excellent stuff. I mean, yeah, Liquid really do a good job of faking out MIBR in that round. Fourth kill there, but what a kill it is. An opening frag towards the device. A lovely headshot. All the smoke's being deployed right now. That's going to be a commitment, and he knows it. Golden gets another one. Oh. That's the bomb going down, turning his game around here as he's looking for his fourth. Oh, my God, he's on for the ace. This is beautiful stuff from Golden. Look at the oh. cover, and he's turned it right around. He's gone from zero to hero, up to eight now after an from ace. From three to... Bon, bah, il fera la viande, dit Vengeance contre Vengeance. Et vu Cadaveric pour nous proposer Apex ensuite, qui arrive en 1v3. Ici, 1v2. Face à Config, qui monte sur une caisse pour le surprendre. Mm, ça le surprend, mais ça ne l'élimine pas.
On a une survie ici, Apex, il peut peut-être même récupérer cette bombe. Non, ah bah, il est aveuglé là par contre. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Qu'est-ce qui se passe sur son... Non Non Incroyable Apex Le triplé, le 1 contre 3 qui est remporté par Dan le triplé, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont fait Astralis, despite their best efforts, always caught him out now. That was great from Zipex. Oh, the bombs are T-spawn again. <laughs> And GW's pushing it. <laughs> He can hear steps. Oh, Dupree, no. No, 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 no. Okay. One HP, one oh eight. Oh my god. They've left it in spawn again, boys. Pull your socks up. What is going on here? Gotta hate to keep the C4 on your back, at least at the top of T-steps. Quiet. JW rotates back now, but the bomb will be planted momentarily. And they've done a good job here. It's down before he can even arrive, but he wow. nails the first one. Device now in a lot of trouble. Spans off some bullets towards CT steps, and the USP has been drawn. JW thinks he can close out the round with just a pistol here. Take two brilliant headshots, and now brings out the AWP. I think this might be enough. Oh, and wow. it is. He keeps them in the lead. 13-10. They would have been shut down. Tag onto Stewie from Fallen. Won't finish the job. He's going to try and back off on 10 points of health, but he won't get much further than the graveyard. Naff in a one on two, and he's found a second. Bomb dropped on the site. Plenty of time. Taco up cat. Naff's got the info. He's got the spot, Ooh. and he's got the shot to find Liquid 4. Great work from Naff and the clutch. Man, Naff plays this like he. Stewie vai querer. Man, o Stewie vai querer esse x1 com o Kaeri, velho. E eu vou falar, o Kaeri vai te pescar, Stewie. Opa, é só o Stewie 2K de AW, ele não... Que? Ah, olha o corpo, mano! Que isso, Maier? O Maier foi pro céu, velho! Meu Deus, velho! Que vocês viram? Vocês viram? Que isso, mano? Virou um astronauta o Maier, velho! Meu Deus do céu, velho! There's a good chance here. There's the headshot, and now he knows he's got a serious chance. He needs to tap the bomb quickly, try and work out where device will be. He's gone for the flash. Lower ramp is where he's coming oh, from. He's gonna come down. He's it. No! How did he miss that device? Normally so instrumental in those sort of scenarios. Nails the shot usually, and he missed one of those ridiculous shots landing in the court of Astralis there. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly what was happening to the to Astralis the entire first half. Claws one back with a nice shot over the smoke, but Crims has been thrust into a one versus five. This is just damage control. Try and force the rebuy on two. That's not too shabby. Dupree's gone down as well. Device in the smoke, but he hears the reload and Crims has got him. Magisk is low. Where's Glaive? He's gonna have to get a little too hot and bothered here. No smoke, fortunately, for Astralis. But Crims has done some sensational work to get the damage. He even knows where Magisk is and the plant isn't for him. We'll just try and draw him out, but yeah, Glaive, he's spotted him. No issue there, but Crims makes a 1v5, a 1v2. Certainly does. This one's getting very interesting now. So they've got maximum loss bonus at this point, which will get them far enough for a nice buy. Like goes down, but at the very least, it did create some space. Apparently not enough, considering Complexity still winning out the ma majority of those aim duels. Apex though left alone, has been spotted. Knows there's one player on the bomb site. unsure of obviously where Poison's coming from normally. Over towards that B side of the map. What? How is he alive? What? <laughs> oh no. O Steel vai querer. Mano, o Steel vai querer esse X1 com o Kaeri, velho. E eu vou falar, o Kaeri vai te pescar, Steel. O Ipina... Opa, é só o Steel 2K de AW. Ele não... Que? Ah! Olha o corpo, mano. Que isso, Maier? O Maier foi pro céu, velho. Meu Deus, velho. Que vocês viram? Vocês viram? Que isso, mano? Virou um astronauta o Meyer, velho. Meu Deus do céu, velho. Contre Vengeance, et vu Cadaveric pour nous proposer Apex ensuite, qui arrive en 1v3. Ici, 1v2. Face à Config, qui monte sur une caisse pour le surprendre. Mmh, ça le surprend, mais ça ne l'élimine pas. On a une survie ici, Apex, il peut peut-être même récupérer cette bombe. Non, ah bah, il est aveuglé là, par contre. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Qu'est-ce qui se passe sur son... Non Non Incroyable, Apex Le triplé, le 1 contre 3 qui est remporté par Dan le triplé, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont fait les complexités C'était imperdable. Apex était aveuglé, les deux joueurs lui ont tiré dessus. Il a fallu recharger. 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 And they've done a good job here. It's down before he can even arrive, but he Whoa. nails the first one. Device now in a lot of trouble. Spans off some bullets towards CT steps, and the USP has been drawn. JW thinks he can close out the round with just a pistol here. Take two brilliant headshots, and now brings out the AWP. I think this might be enough. Oh and my God. It is. He keeps them 
in the lead, 13-10. They would have been shut down financially as enough to win the round, and he's just showing us what it means to him. He's celebrating. That's all he's doing. That's all this is. <laughs> Celebration, showboating. Whoa. It's a big clutch. With an AWP retake, we talk about that being a disadvantage. It didn't even feel like one for JW. Oh, my Let's God. See that. Like, first things first, Crimson's Deagle, he was looking at underpass five seconds Ooh. later. That shot onto Zipex takes a whole lot of confidence. Deep cooking. Deep cooking, yeah. I think one more shot. He wouldn't play it that stupid. Я думаю, один зиг я слышишь? Иди убьешь его мне. Я сразу подбираю этот смок и кидаю под себя, и мы выиграем раунд. Зиге стоит близко подо мной. Убивай, убивай. Убивай! Нужна помощь твоя. Подойди ко мне, забери этот молотов, дай под меня. Ой, смок, 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 смок. Подкинул тебе его. И забирай бомбу. Кидай правой кнопой. Скинул бомбу. Пробегай. Двое, да? Наверное. Надеюсь, на это я ставлю сразу на зиг. Стой, стой, два зиг. К тебе идет. I'm gonna open this club case. It's not like I was useful anyway, so... I'm both AFK. No fucking way! Are you... No fucking way! What are those worth? $400? No. That's insane. $1900?! It will give him the sight line towards Graveyard. Very vulnerable if he's still there. I think Dupree is. Excuse me, Zipex. Did he... Yes! Oh, he's gonna be so exposed. And then the fight on Pit, it's winnable. First. Dupree, he's exposed and the spray is there! Crimson's clutched up Astralis' best chance yet, and it's ripped from them by the King of Kings on his birthday. Oh, that's the best birthday present you can probably get there. Looking for that 2-0, that's a huge round, two versus one. Astralis yet to post a single victory in this second half on their T side. They've been tantalizingly close a few times now, but they'll take another tactical time out here. The money's strong, of course it is, but Flush are even stronger, flexing all over the place of Banana here, just making them look silly a point. Yeah, I mean, the, the the amount of damage they were inflicting blind, just unconfirmed damage down banana. Yeah, right. They gotta stop leaving that bomb in T-Sport in my boys. That's really kind of tilting me now, like the twice. That, the fact that JW didn't kill Dupree and that was the yeah. round right there, yeah. that's actually a lifeline for Astralis to get back into the game. And with that boost coming up there above that smoke on mid, we've actually seen Complexity manage to pull this in their favor. And with that, force Vitality to make that decision to commit in towards B. And this time it is not going to be working out for them. Suddenly all left on Shucks does actually destroy Poison in the back of the bomb site, which gives them the bomb plant. Not really going to be a big deal in terms of money, but it gives them the opportunity to try and actually play for the after plant. And how is this happening? Brings it to the 1v1. If only he knew his crosser was perfectly on Rush as well there as he spun around. But two health, it's going to be so difficult now. Rush has spotted him in towards the back of that bomb site. Unfortunately, not having nades to force him out. Oh. But as I said, with the health being so low, one bullet to the body there is going to end it. But a very nice attempt from Shox. That is way too co uh, way too close for Complexity's liking. And obviously losing that many players, it does impact the buy they get in this next round. We're starting to see some flashes of Shox here. We're starting to see some throwback rounds from him. This is really exciting to see if you're a Vitality fan. He doesn't win the round, but you see there, he's the impact. Vocês podem me crucificar, velho. Mas vou falar um negócio pra vocês, velho. Hoje vai dar MBR, velho. Ah, porra, mas aí, ó. Já morreu dois, não me importa, velho. Hopefully, they're not focused on this. Apex is kind of looking there, but... Oh, Obo, <laughs> team kill on his teammate, but he gets another frag out of it. After all is said and done, it turns into a 1v1. And it's Shox versus Config here. Shox moving on to the A-bomb site. No more team kills in this round because we're down to the one versus one. And the smoke will give Shox a breathing room to get this bomb planted. That was a weird team kill. And a weird laugh from me, apologies. Shox and Config though, one on one. A, a very long time for Config to rotate in at the moment though because he doesn't know where Shox has actually gone with this. He could have planted it for long, he could have started moving in this direction, so he spent a few seconds just waiting to see if that aggression came in. And obviously that did give Shox the time to position himself over towards Short now. Which right now for the AK at least, obviously has a Diffuse Cat and also a Molotov which could be used to actually stop push from re uh, Shox from really being able to push out and do anything about a Diffuse coming in. Or at the very least forcing them through a Molotov. Does expect it to be in the CT spawn though, so Shox is gonna peek out and 
just about managing the spot there. No reason, you can see them trying to focus Dupree now. Knowing he's low behind, they're going to just make sure they get down towards Connector. Now Crimson, this could be the fragment sides around. A lot of damage inflicted. Now Golden in a two versus one. He's got a smoke and an HE. No kits, bear in mind. He's not going to panic here. That's the game. That's it. That is all she wrote. Device just looking for something. Gold is not going to... Text, of course. We are seeing the top mid push, though. Complexity sticking together with their nades. Two nades landing in the pit. That's huge damage. RPK dealt with, but Zaiwu fighting on the bomb site. Three quick kills. Huge damage done by Zaiwu. And now Blame F has got a 1v2 on his hands. And it may... Managed to recover that one there, but despite being shot for ages by Rush... It's RPK though who comes in and ensures that it's not really going to get out of hand towards that A-bomb site as it has before. And now it's all on Poison. The man who had previously been tagged up, he's got that first kill. Bomb being planted on the A site. 30 health left for Poison, but he can back off to A ramp, which gives him a much better position to play this bomb. Oh, he's going all the way. No, he's not. He's going to jump up into Palace. So there is a slight reposition here and Vitality are taking their time on this retake. They want to make sure they're aware of every possible angle. They've got the nade for a ramp, but Poison now playing from Palace. Can he get away with this first kill? Shox has no clue what's about to hit him. Poison swings out wide and takes them both. Great clutch from Poison there. The reposition catches Vitality.